Hey guys, welcome back to the episode number 4. So today we'll be starting from where we have left off. So far what we have managed to do, we have created our REST API by using WordPress REST API system. And now today we'll be start creating our admin menus and loading our necessary scripts and also using the Laravel mix as well. So let's get started. So if you go to our admin and check for the plugin that our plugin is already activated now, now we need actually some sort of a menu here so let's go back into our code and add some admin menus as well so let's start with the php tag and let's give it a namespace so it should be wpvk that is our namespace constant and then uh, this file is into the include so we need to mention that includes all right then let's name our class like admin all right and into that we need a construct class so we can say public function uh, not that construct like this inside that we need to add a, uh, a WordPress action so let's call that out and the action name is admin menu obviously by this we can add admin menu and let's pass a function here and let's name it admin menu as well we obviously need to create that so let's copy that function name and uh, let's put it here public function like this uh, we have to spell it right not like this admin menu okay so here we first uh, let's declare the global variable or take the global variable of sub menu uh, sub menu which wordpress provides in which all the sub menu assets has been stored by the wordpress let's take some uh, more variables like capability so our default capability will be manage option manage options like this and let's take another which will be the slag of our uh, uh, what we can say our plugin plugin settings page right and then uh, we will call add menu page function that WordPress have by which we can add our admin menu so first thing we need to mention our label so w let's say wp view kickoff all right like this and then we need to pass our domain name so let's keep that like text domain for now we'll change it later and the next thing is also for the labeling so we can do like that the third Thing we need to pass the capability that is coming from the variable and then also obviously the slug and then we need to pass the callback function so we can say menu page template which we will be creating later menu page template like this and the next one can be an icon so we can say uh, dash icons uh, like or we can keep it blank for now all right and then we will check if the current user have the these capabilities in order to show the sub menu as well so how we can do that we can use wordpress function for that the name of that function is current user can so current user can 
uh, of, obviously the capability that means if the current user has the capability of manage option then we will be adding some sub menus as well with the slug and then we will be passing our sub menu label like kickoff and then the text domain which will be changing later and obviously then the capability and then the page slack so the page slack would be admin.php and the page equal to uh, will be slack obviously and then because we will be using a uh, view uh, router in order to manage our routing so we need to pass that uh, pound symbol and the forward slash so which will be our uh, root url as you know when you are going to use this view things so in the next one we will be creating our settings page and the slack should be after that let's keep it like settings all right so these two sub menus will be there with the, with our main menu now let's add this admin.php into our main plugin uh, init plugin function uh, method here so you can say new admin like this and if you install your Vue.js extension for adding these classes we can say like import class like this and if we check it will automatically include our class like this okay so now if we go into our admin area and check for our plugin okay so if we refresh here it should be a menu in our admin yes as you can see and this is the menu wp view kickoff but if we click on that we might have getting some errors because we do not yes we do not have that uh, template ready as you can see menu page template is required actually so let's go back to our code now and now let's create our callback method that we haven't created so remember these things will be slightly different because uh, we need to use that few things so into the let's keep it here so this one and here from here we will just uh, if you are familiar with the view I hope you are familiar with the view because it is not a basic view tutorial you I, I expecting that you already know view very well or at least a certain level of knowledge using view so when we use view we need to have a, a viewport the main viewport or the main place in the HTML where everything loads right so for our uh, our purpose for our admin uh, as far as our admin things going so this is the template where our everything will be loading or everything will be loaded from the view so we need to pass something or in we need to give some place where view will add its things so here we will say let's take a div with a class and we all know WordPress have a class of wrap by which it will give you a nice padding so let's uh, inside that that main class we will add another div with the id let's say wpvk uh, admin page or admin app rather all right so in the future when we integrate view this will be its main uh, point where uh, view will load its things okay so this is the main place where view will live all right all right so if now we go back and if we refresh then we should not see this error because we have already loaded our template so for further check we can say something if it appears then our function is working as expected yes all right so but we for now we will 
leave it blank because everything should come from the view. So into the next episode we will learn how we can use Laravel Mix and uh, include our scripts into the plugin. So till then keep watching. See you in the next video.